here's the issue that I had last year. I had a cherry plant which I planted two years ago. Last year it produced lots of leaves but produced only one fruit, a cherry. So I the look back and I may have been the issue may have been I was fertilizing the lawn so some of the fertilizer may have gotten to its roots that's why it's produced lots of leaves so this year I decided to fertilize the plant before start of spring today is the 14th of March it's about 48 degrees outside and I'm going to use Job's fertilizer. These are for fruits. It's a citrus, uh, fruits and citrus. So let's go through the whole process. So this one has nine spikes. So that's what this looks like. You need a hammer to drive this in. And so let's go to the back of the, uh, the package. So here we go. It says over here, uh, the best for best results apply early in the spring uh, spring and late fall so this is early spring even before spring but a week or so before um, so you by using a hammer you're supposed to to tap on the plastic cap so I'm going to remove this uh, and show it to you so this is the the spike the fertilizer spike that's the fur the the cap if you can see I will remove and show the right one or the actual one and uh, uh, spike it uh, into the ground where your plant is. So this is the the drip line. So if you can see this ima uh, image. So in my situation, it's uh, I will show you the actual plant shortly uh, when we are planting when we are driving these spikes. So this is the the drip line. So that's where you're supposed to. And also, you have to keep in mind there is a particular chart. You have to measure the diameter of the the plant. So my plant, I, it, you're supposed to, to check the diameter one foot uh, above from the soil level. So it's about one and a half inches uh, is the diameter. So I can put two spikes. Also, you're supposed to to put this thing. Uh, th 30, 30 inches uh, away from the, the trunk. I open up the container. So this, so let me take a spike. So this is what they look like. And here is the plastic cap. Put it like that. There are Two of them, there are nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine spikes. Some of them are, well, actually, they are the same, all of them are the same size. Uh, so it's two and a half feet from the, the trunk where you need to drive these things in. So let's go outside and take a look at the, take a look at it and let's drive some spikes in here is the cherry plant or the cherry tree and as you can see there's still snow on the ground because this is not yet spring but i want to make sure this is taken care of and as you can see the it start sprouting or leaves are coming out so you are supposed to measure the trunk about a foot up so that's about right here so as you can see it's about just over an inch so I am going to put two spikes and it's got to be 30 30 inches so that's going to be about two and a half. So that's about about right here. So let me go ahead and start working on that. Just from 
as a safety measure, I am going to check the canopy. So, my canopy is just about two feet. So I believe having that for two and a half feet is okay. Uh, so let me just go ahead and uh, show where the, the spikes are going to go in. So where the hammer is, right here, that's two and a half feet. So I'm just going to go ahead and uh, drive that stake in. So I'm going to put the cap on this side and just drive it in. Let's try this. Just like that that's it so let me go and do the the same for the other one so plots two and a half feet away from the the root or the trunk so let me just go ahead and drive that Okay, so that's done. So hopefully I will get lots more flowers and fruits this time. So this is a budded variety. Uh, this one has four of them, four different kinds of cherries. So this is something that I got from Home Depot. Uh, that's about it. That was, that was easy.